One thing amateurs want to know a lot is how to put check on chip shots so that when you're around the side of the green you can play that little one that you see the pros play where the ball lands and sort of dig in. I'm going to see if I can show you that today with the help of a bit of slow motion. True of his golf balls, we'll see if we can bust a few myths for you. There are a few things that will help create spin on a golf ball, but generally speaking, it happens naturally. It's the one surface acting against another surface which will create the spin. Things that help would be a soft golf ball, so um, a better quality golf ball, clean, dry club face with sharp grooves, so a new club face would be good for that, and also a tight lie so there's no grass going to get between the club face and the ball. And even on a wet day, if water gets between the club face and the ball, the ball won't spin as much. That said, with the technique, there's things that we can do to help. What we've got to try and do is get the club quite shallow, so it's going to act a bit like a putt. We're trying to keep the club quite close to the ground. Not too much hand action for a short shot. Just a case of trying to get the club to just pass along the line of the ground. A bit like that. So it's those that try to do something with the club or with the hands that generally get into the most trouble with hitting fat shots and thin shots. So the lesson would be let the club do the work. Don't forget free chipping down here at the range, uh, putting two, and follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. There's new videos going on the YouTube channel all the time. It'll be good to see you down here soon.